Hello YouTube. Um, I was going to show you guys today on how to make a bearded beanie. Um, I've already got the, the, the beanie made here. So you can uh, attach this beard to any beanie that you crochet yourself or um, really just a regular beanie as well. So I'm going to uh, all you need is your yarn needle. I'm using a H hook, scissors, your yarn needle, and some yarn. Um, I've made these in all different colors. Some people like them the beanie striped. Some people want the beanie one color and the beard another color. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And what I like to do is uh, Okay, what I like to do is to start out with a long tail. I'm going to give myself probably about 12 inches. Um, and you'll see why it's easier to crochet this onto the, um, it's easier to attach to the beanie. Okay, so I've just done the regular slip knot. And I got this pattern from Jen Spears on Ravelry. Um, I will post a link below to uh, her Ravelry account. Um, so she is a very talented lady and she gave me permission to make this tutorial. So we're going to chain 35. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I'm going to crochet in the second chain from the hook. So let's skip this one. 1. And go into the second and you're going to single crochet all the way all through your chain to where you will end up with 34 stitches Okay, so I finished row one. I have a chain here of single crochets. There's 34 stitches. Okay, so when you get to the end of the row, I'm going to chain one and turn your work around. And you're going to single crochet back across this entire row. So row one and row two are 34 single crochets in each row. And your stitch in your, um, the same place that you did your chain one is the same place your first stitch will go. Okay, so row two is finished. When you get to the end of the row, chain one and turn your work around. So we're on row three. And this time you're going to decrease. So you're going to um, draw through the first stitch, draw through the first stitch, pull up a loop, go to the next stitch, draw up a loop, and pull through all three stitches. So you just decrease one stitch. And you're going to single crochet all the way across until you get to the last two stitches, and you're going to decrease again. Okay, so I have two stitches left at the end of row three. We're going to do a decrease. I go through the first stitch, draw up a loop. Go through the second stitch, draw up a loop. All three loops on the hook, and you draw your yarn through all three. And that finished row three. And you're going to chain one. So row three now has 32 stitches. We chain one, we turn around, and we're going to do the same thing to this row. You're going to decrease your first two stitches, and you're going to single crochet all the way across. 
And then when you get to the last two stitches, we're going to decrease again. Okay, so now we're at the end of row four. I have two stitches left. And I'm going to do my decrease. Okay, so now row four has 30 stitches. We're going to chain one, turn your work around. So now for row five, we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do a half double crochet, so we wrap the yarn around, stick through the stitch, pull up a loop, and you draw through all three. Then we do 18 double crochets, so you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, put your yarn through the stitch, draw up a loop, wrap the yarn around, draw through two stitches, then draw through two more stitches. That's your first double crochet. So you'll do 18 of these. Okay, so now I have my 18 double crochet. And we're going to do one half double crochet. So you wrap the yarn around the hook. Stick your needle through the stitch. Draw up a loop. You're going to draw through all three. All three loops there. And then you're going to do five single crochets. One. Two. Okay. So this row was 5 single crochet, 1 half double crochet, 18 double crochet, a half double crochet, 5 single crochet. And you're going to chain 1, turn your work around, and you're going to repeat the, this row the same way. So 5 single crochet, 1, 2, three, four, five, and your half double crochet, and then 18 double crochet. Okay, so that's my 18th double crochet, and I'm going to do a half double crochet. I did just did a half double crochet and now I'm going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now your edges are going to, it's not going to be straight um, because this um, will help size the beanie, or excuse me, help size the beard on your face, so you need it to decrease a little bit there. So we're going to chain one, and you're going to turn your work around. This time you're going to do eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Oops, got my yarn off, or my hook off stuck there. Six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to decrease in the next stitch. So you're going to put, uh, put your needle through the stitch, draw through one loop, put your needle through the next stitch, draw up a loop, and draw through all three. That was your decrease made. Now you're going to do 10 double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to decrease. And 
and you should have eight single crochets to finish this row off. Okay, and we're going to chain one. Okay, so now you can see from the decreases, it's kind of a, getting a shape here. And this right here is where your chin will be. So now in this row, we're going to do um, seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're going to decrease, oh, I didn't get my stitch pulled all the way through there, let me redo that, okay, so now we will do a decrease, and we're going to do ten double crochet, so you wrap your yarn around the hook, place it through the stitch, draw up a loop, draw through two, and draw through two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. So now we will do another decrease. And we should have seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now chain one, turn your work around. So now we are going to do um, eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to do a half double crochet, then you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to count over eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the ninth one, you're going to do a half double crochet. So then you have this chain here like this. This is the mouthpiece. Now you're going to have eight single crochet left to finish the row off. That was one, two, three, and eight. Okay, so now we have the last row. You're going to chain one. Turn your work around. We're going to um, do a decrease in the first two stitches. And you're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do three double crochets in this stitch right here. So there's one double crochet, two, and three. Now in, in the chain we're going to do eight half double crochets. So in the first chain here, I'm going to do my first half double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now we need to do three double crochets, and you're not going to place it in this. There's a stitch right here, but we're going to, I always skip this stitch. There seems to be um, an extra stitch. So I'm going to I just skip this one and then this one right the next one over is where I'm going to do my three double crochets. So there's one, two, oops, and three. So now I'm going to do five single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five. I have two stitches left. Okay, so then in the last two stitches of the last row, you do a decrease, and then I chain one and I pull out about 12 inches. And just pull the yarn through. Okay, so now we've finished off our work. So now we've ended up with a tail on the on this end at the top and a tail on this end at the bottom. I'm going to start with this bottom one here. I'm going to thread it on my yarn needle. Okay, and I'm going to take the beanie. I'm going to just um, find a stitch. I'm just going to with the with this beanie. The last row was finished off with a row of single crochet, so I'm just going to stick it through one of the single crochet loops from the um, from the inside to the out. Okay, and then I'm going to lay the the beard that we have here. You can see the mouth is here at the top. I'm going to line the edges up like this and then I'm just going to take and sew it on there. Just going to go through both sides like so until I get all the way across. Okay, so now I'm going to flip the beard over and going inside the beanie. This is where I'm going to sew in my edge. So I just, like you can see the, the, the yarn here. And if my camera will focus in, you can see the single crochet here. And I'm just going to run my hook through these single crochets. Not my hook, but my needle. I can usually cram them all on my needle there. And then just pull it through. And then to secure it, I'm going to um, skip a loop here and just take the yarn right back through the same way I just took it. This gives me, um, uh, I feel secure that it's not going to unwind this way. Okay, then you can cut, cut the yarn off. Okay, so now I'm going to thread on the other tail. And I'm going to count over 15 stitches from here is the top part of the of the beard. And I'm going to count over 15 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to stick my needle through the 15th stitch. I'm all tangled up here. Okay, so now I'm going to line the other side up the same way as I did the first side. I'm going to finish it off in the same way. And this comes in handy where the beard wasn't even. It gives it the length that it needs to fit around your face in just the right way. Now this is size for ages teen to adult. And the, um, this is, um, the way that I'm sewing it onto the hat is my version that's made it easier um, for me because I've made a lot of these. Um, I believe she, um, the pattern, she actually calls for um, instead of using the needle to sew them on, or using your yarn needle to sew them on, you use your hook and you just single crochet. Single crochet them together instead of uh, attaching them together this way. But I found that much quicker for me this way. Okay. Cut it off and we are all done. I'll lay it on this side here. So. There you have it. There is your bearded beanie. And these make great gifts, especially to um, teenagers or um, the younger uh, generation. They're a great novelty item. You know, you could even do these with the sports colors, school colors. Um, you know, because football and all that stuff is very cold um, time of the year. And they definitely keep you warm. On my beanie that I made here, it is, um, I did five row of increases and then, um, seven rows of just double crochet all the way across. So I have a total of 12 rows. If you use the, the beard, then you don't want to make your uh, beanie too long because it will, um, the beard will be, uh, will hang down off of your chin if your beanie is too long. So you want to make sure that you kind of proportion that right. But if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below. Please go to the link and download her pattern. Her name is Jen Spears on Ravelry. So until next time, happy crocheting. Thanks for watching.